Around 150 million years ago, a creature called Archaeopteryx took to the skies. Part reptile, part bird, the creature had teeth, solid bones, and reptilian claws. But it had something else, too. Archaeopteryx had feathers. Over the next 75 million years, feathers and flight improved. Birds lost their teeth, and most grew hollow bones, which reduced weight and made flying easier. Flight may have evolved to help birds escape predators, catch fast prey, or to make it easier to move from place to place. No one really knows. One thing is certain. All 8,700 species of modern birds have feathers. Made of keratin, the same protein found in hair, feathers apparently evolved from the scales of reptilian ancestors. A typical bird of prey has over 7,000 feathers. Small, light feathers refined for flight help eagles catch air. But even flightless birds have feathers. Penguins pack 70 stiff feathers in a square inch. These feathers provide waterproofing and cover an insulating layer of blubber. Feather colors are usually provided by different pigments. Black, gray and brown birds have melanin to thank for their color. Scarlet ibises owe this splashy red to the carotene found in the shrimps and other crustaceans they eat. All feathered creatures lay eggs too. But nest building styles range from simple to elaborate. The young of some birds, like ducks, are precocial, able to feed themselves as soon as they're born. Other young birds, like this albatross, are altricial and must wait to be fed by parents. The search for food takes many birds on annual migrations. Hummingbirds may fly hundreds of kilometers from nesting sites as far north as the Canadian border to their wintering grounds in Mexico, making the trip to and fro each year. Such bold adaptive skills have allowed birds to find homes in most habitats on Earth. <laughs>